Carabas, more like Cara train, Cara car, <laughs> Cara submarine. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Today I am taste testing Caraba's appetizer menu and dessert menu. We got everything from mozzarella sticks to tiramisu to stuffed mushrooms. I don't know why I, I bought them, but I did. <laughs> I'm gonna taste test everything, give you my honest opinion, rate each item from one to 10, and let you know if Caraba's appetizers and desserts are worth trying, at least in my opinion. So let's talk about what I got. I got a Caesar salad, Strawberry cheesecake, house salad, tiramisu, sogno di cioccolata, aka chocolate dream. I said that perfectly, I'm sure. Meatballs and ricotta, tomato caprice with fresh burrata. Ooh, that rhymed, ricotta burrata. Zucchini frite, shrimp scampi, traditional cannoli, parmesan truffle fries, and the classic combinations appetizer, which is basically hand-breaded calamari, mozzarella marinara, which is basically mozzarella sticks, and four cheese stuffed mushrooms. <laughs> so I'm very pumped. It is going to be a big taste test. Grab a meal. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It truly helps my channel out and it's the easiest way to support me and my bald head. Also, subscribe if you're new here. I taste test brand new fast food items. I also taste test full menus like this Carabas menu. So subscribe. Now, before we start, I just want to say the other day I made the most delicioso meal. Here's that footage right now. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I'm about to make these one pan bon mi style beef tacos. Oh my goodness. If you haven't heard of HelloFresh, basically they're a meal kit delivery service. You choose your meals online or through the app and then they deliver all the ingredients and the recipes straight to your door. The recipes are always very simple to make and they always taste delicious, guys. I have said this a thousand times, but it is the honest truth. I have never had a bad HelloFresh meal. You truly save so much time using HelloFresh. I'm not joking. The ingredients are pre-portioned, so there's no measuring. You don't have to go to the grocery store at all. You don't have to plan out meals. It sounds crazy, but HelloFresh legit just makes life easier, at least for me. It truly does. I'm a busy guy and I don't have time to think about meals. Like I just legit don't. Also, I don't have a car yet. So going to the grocery store is a lot for me. I have to get an Uber sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, no, thank you. In case you didn't know, April is Earth Month. So here's a fun fact. On average, HelloFresh meals have a 31% lower carbon footprint than the same meals made from supermarket ingredients. So we love that. Plus, nearly all HelloFresh packaging materials are curbside recyclable in most areas of the US. So we love that too. And HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients cut down on your food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping. So if you wanna cut down on waste, guys, hello. Fresh. If you're extra, extra busy, HelloFresh has quick and easy meal options, which are ready in around 15 minutes, guys. You'll have a lot of time to watch your TV shows, get some extra work done, get your nails done. There's a lot of things you could be doing with the extra time that you could have if you get HelloFresh. Hello. <laughs> also, HelloFresh has variety. Um, you can pick from 40 meals a week, which is a lot of options, guys. And they have over 100 seasonal and convenience items to choose from each week as well. And HelloFresh doesn't just serve dinner, guys. They also have breakfast options, snack options, quick and easy lunches. So basically what I'm trying to say is it's time for you to try HelloFresh, guys. Okay. And of course, I have a code for you, girly. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 50TIMMY for 50% off plus your first box ships Three. So anyways, let's cook these tacos up. So we have some ground beef, carrots, lime, cilantro, a cucumber, sriracha, tortillas, mayo, sweet soy glaze, and rice wine vinegar. So first things first, I have to wash and dry the produce and then I have to chop up the lime and the cucumber and the cilantro. I'm just gonna chop the cucumber into half moons. We're gonna go down this way and then just do this. Period. See? So easy. Perfect. Put them in a bowl. I'm just going to cut the lime just like that. And I'm just going to chop up the cilantro. Just a nice little rough chop. Nothing too fine. Nothing too pretty. Even though I am very fine and very pretty. That was a really good cooking joke. Wow. Perfecto. And now I'm going to pickle the cucumbers. So I'm just going to add half of the vinegar. 
into this bowl. I'm gonna add some salt and a little bit of sugar. And I'm gonna get this all mixed up. Now this is called a quick pickle. It's a quickle. <laughs> now we're gonna make the sriracha mayo. I'm just gonna add my sriracha to a bowl and my mayo. A little bit of salt and a little bit of water. Let's just mix that up. And our sriracha mayo sauce is done. See guys, like every step in this recipe is so easy and so fast. So we are gonna quickly cook our carrots. I just turn the heat on, gonna add some oil. Let's add the carrots to the pan. Of course, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. I think they're done, okay. And now I'm gonna add some more olive oil and we're gonna cook the meat. Of course, I'm gonna add some salt, pepper. Now I'm just gonna add my sweet soy glaze. Guys, this stuff has so much flavor, it's ridiculous. And then the vinegar. It is now time to assemble the tacos. I'm gonna add some meat to each of my tortillas. Perfect, slay that. And some nice roasted carrots some pickled cucumbers, and some spicy mayo. Oh my God. And a little squeeze of lime. Let's try it. Mm. Oh my goodness! It's sweet and it's savory. There are so many different flavors coming through and they're also cohesive. Incredible. So what are you waiting for guys? Go to hellofresh.com and use my code 50TIMMY for 50% off. Plus your first box ships free. Okay, so let's unbox all the food. So first things first, we have bread. Oh, it's like a Christmas gift. It's all wrapped up. Oh yeah. So this is, ah! it was on the floor, I'm sorry. I don't clean my floor that often, so I can't risk it, guys. <laughs> they gave me some Parmesan cheese, some um, Italian seasonings, and olive oil, so I can make my own little, like, dip. So if you've never been to Carabas, basically, it's like Olive Garden's classier, fancier, older sister, you know? And when you eat there in person, they give you this fresh bread, which is still warm, very fluffy, and this olive oil with, um, like, Italian seasonings in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I have to try it quickly before I start to unbox all the other food. Why not, right? I'm very hungry. So this is the bread. Very fluffy looking. Oh. Mm. Mm. What's the Parmesan for? Does this go in here too? Maybe? Why not? Oh my god. The bread tastes like it's been freshly cooked, like today. I'm not even kidding. Super fluffy, almost a little bit doughy, which I love. And then the olive oil tastes like super high quality. The seasonings also taste super potent and strong and amazing. It's just a fantastic free appetizer that comes with your food. Mm. I'm giving the free appetizer a 10 out of 10. So simple, yet so delicious. Let's unbox the food. So first up we have the Parmesan truffle fries. Now, a lot of you guys know I don't like truffle anything. It just smells like actual garbage to me, but I had to try all the appetizers, so I got this. Hopefully the truffle flavor isn't too potent and strong. Oh, I can barely smell it. This smells fantastic. It just smells like really well-cooked fries and Parmesan cheese. Now I'm hyped, guys. Now I'm hyped. Oh yeah. And now this is the calamari. So calamari is fried octopus? No, squid. Squid. It's squid. It isn't Ursula. It's Ursula's sister, right? I know it's seafood, but I honestly don't mind calamari. It's always been fine to me, so I'm excited to try it. Looks great. And then we have <gasps> the mozzarella sticks. Ooh. <gasps> These look classy, that's for sure. So we have marinara sauce right here. Ooh, that smells like actual spaghetti, not just marinara. It's it's like, it smells like the pasta itself. I love that. Look at that mozzarella, it looks so gorgeous. It has such a gorgeous deep color to it. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And then we have the stuffed mushrooms. Okay, they're actually very cute, but I just hate fungi, I hate mushrooms. Oh, they smell like a mushroom! <laughs> Who would have thought? 
Okay, so we have some sort of a creamy sauce and four little stuffed mushrooms. Now I have never in my life had a stuffed mushroom ever. Who knows, it might slay me, it might make me a mushroom stand. You never know. Now this is the zucchini frite, which is like fried zucchini. Ooh, super cute little fry shaped zucchinis, very thinly cut, very nice. And then we have the side Caesar salad, it has croutons, Parmesan cheese, and a Caesar dressing, typical Caesar toppings. Very simple, it looks great, it's a pretty nice portion. And then we have the meatballs and ricotta. I love meatballs so much, like I could eat meatballs all day. There's only two of them, but they look great and there's a lot of sauce in there, so. Now this is the tomato capri salad with the burrata cheese. Now burrata cheese, I think is like a mozzarella type of cheese, but it's like slimy on the inside or something, right? I don't know, I have never had it. Very pumped to try it. Smells good, smells like milky and nice. It's a pretty heavy, big appetizer, guys. A lot of tomatoes in there, like a lot. I see onions, balsamic glaze, all that good stuff, so. Looks great. Oh my gosh, so we have extra bread. It's just like the toasted version of the other bread. And I think that these pieces go with the um, meatballs, maybe, probably. Looks great, oh yeah. And then we have the shrimp scampi, oh wait, I think the shrimp scampi goes with the toast. Let me, let me make sure, one second. Yes, the shrimp scampi comes with garlic, white wine, and our lemon butter sauce served with baked bread. Perfect, so. Looks very nice. It doesn't smell fishy at all, it just smells like butter. We love butter. Now this is the house salad. It has like carrots, um, Banana pepper looking things. Not a lot of toppings to be honest, but um, we do have a, a lot of dressing, so that's good. Okay, looks fine. Now it's time for the desserts, guys. Oh my goodness. So this is the the one with the fancy name. What was it? Chocolate de something. Um, it's like a chocolatey cake. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. <gasps> oh, it smells amazing. It smells like hot chocolate. We love that, we love that for me. And then we have the tiramisu. It's a pretty lightweight piece, but tiramisu is quite airy, so it's understandable. Um, it has a lot of chocolate shavings on it, like a lot. And there are thick chocolate shavings too, like oh my goodness. And then we have the cheesecake. Ah, I love cheesecake so much, and this piece looks amazing. It looks very big, very hefty. Look how dense that looks. Oh my gosh, and we have the strawberry sauce. And then last but not least, we have the cannolis. Look at the pistachios. Oh. So that's everything. Um, I'm gonna pause, set up the food, get my thumbnail, and then we'll start taste testing all of this. We're gonna have a feast. So grab a meal and eat with me, girl. Go eat. Ugh. Okay, besties, it's time to eat. So first things first, I think we should try the Parmesan truffle fries. They smell fantastic. That's how one looks up close. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to slow down because I have a lot to eat. But these are so good. So, I don't taste even a hint of truffle. Not even a whiff, not even a smidge, nothing. And that makes me so happy. These just taste like fantastic Parmesan fries. The Parmesan is very strong, very salty, and it really has that Parmesan kick. And the fries themselves, are absolutely perfectly cooked. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. They taste super fresh. The oil that they were cooked in tastes super fresh. They're not seasoned per se, but they just have that really fresh fry flavor that we all know and love. And then Parmesan is simple too, but it takes it to the next level. 
One more. <laughs> mmm. Robin's fries. Honestly, I'm giving these a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, guys. I ate that, and so did they as well. Okay, so next up, let's try the meatballs and ricotta. Oh, I love meatballs. So let's see how the meatball texture is up close. Ew, that fork was dirty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me get a new one. Okay, okay, oh wow, gorgeous. Stunning. Let's get some ricotta on there, some sauce. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Moo! That's fresh cow. 100%. I can't stop. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna finish them. Mmm. Okay, they're gone. So, these are very good meatballs. Like, very good. Um, this isn't a food battle with Olive Garden, but I'm gonna go ahead and compare these to Olive Garden because I feel like that's a very famous Italian restaurant. These are much better. Olive Garden's meatballs, which I do love, taste very processed. They have a bit of a frozen aisle flavor to them and texture too. They're almost too smooth. There's not enough like stuff in there. You know what I mean? But these meatballs honestly taste really fresh. They almost taste homemade, honestly. There's like chunks of stuff in them, like herbs and maybe onions. Like you can just feel it as you chew. So I love that. The flavor is quite tame. It's a very simple Italian meatball flavor, but it works. And the marinara is super fresh tasting, not too sweet not too thick, not too thin. It just tastes like real tomatoes, you know? And the ricotta does does kind of blend in with the marinara, but it does add a creaminess. So it's very nice. Are these the best meatballs I've ever had? No, but are they very good restaurant meatballs? Yes, yes ma'am. They're not unique, they're not super different, but they are strong. But I will say the portion is pretty tiny. Um, it's an appetizer, and appetizers should be shareable, so it should come with at least four meatballs, not two. At least. Best case scenario, it would have been eight, but I guess that's just too much to ask for. Overall, I'm gonna give these meatballs a nice 8.5 out of 10. Very strong. Okay. Next up, let's try a dessert. Why not? I'm feeling quite, quite sweet. Let's try this fancy chocolate cake thing, okay? Now, with the desserts, I tend to get very carried away and I end up eating the whole thing. I cannot do that today because I have so many things to try. I have to save most of it in my fridge. So if I start taking too many bites, call me out, guys. Say, Timmy, calm down. You gotta save some room for later, you know? So it looks like there's some layers of like mascarpone cheese, maybe, some mousse, some chocolate cake. Ooh, let's see how it tastes. Oh, oh. Stunning! Look at that! That is a gorgeous bite. Wow. Okay. Let's try it. Mm. Oh! What's the name of this again? Sogno di Chocolata. Chocolate Dream. It says, sweeten your carryout experience with our rich fudge brownie with chocolate mousse, fresh whipped cream, and homemade chocolate sauce. Wow. Yep, that is a brownie, that's for sure. Oh my God! One more bite. 
I know what I said, but when something tastes this good, sometimes you have to fight for it. Okay, so, okay. what just happened? I didn't see that. Did you? I didn't. So, this is one of the best chocolate desserts I've ever had in my entire life. There's a sort of crust on the bottom. I can't tell if it's just like the crispiness of the brownie or if there's like an actual like Oreo crumble crust there, but it tastes like there's an Oreo crumble crust there. It's very crispy and thin and very cookie-ish. That's iconic. The brownie is perfection. It is not too rich. It's a nice, light, airy brownie, uh, but it still has a strong brownie flavor. It's just perfect. The chocolate mousse, perfection. Once again, not too sweet, super light, super fluffy. And then this white cream stuff on top is literally whipped cream, but just like smoothed out. Everything works so well together. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I have to get it out of my sight. Anyways, everything goes so well together. It is just the, the perfect chocolate layer dessert. Perfection, 10 out of 10. That is now my new go-to sit-down restaurant dessert. If I'm craving dessert, I'm like, we're going to Carabas, girl. <sighs> what did I just experience? Okay. So next up, let's try this burrata cheese tomato caprese moment. So apparently the cheese has like gooeyness inside of it. Where is it? It's like cottage cheese looking stuff, see? Anyways, we have some balsamic glaze, onions, basil, and cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna get some of everything in one bite. Like I said, I have never had burrata in my life. Very pumped to try it. Looks a lot like fresh mozzarella. Some onion. Okay, we have some of everything in one bite. Let's see. Second. Okay. So, overall, it's a bit lackluster. The burrata cheese has a gorgeous texture. The outside of it is quite stringy, and the inside is very smooth and almost like a really fancy cottage cheese. But it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Now, I have never had burrata cheese. So I don't know if it's supposed to have a lot of flavor. All that I know is that I didn't really love what I tasted right now. It just has more of a very light watery flavor, kind of like fresh mozzarella, but even lighter. It's just not salty at all. It's just very kind of, it's like an empty cheese. So it's not gross. It's just super, super, super plain. Now, if you are looking for like a plain milk flavored cheese, this is it for you, girl. But for me, I just look for some saltiness, some tang in my cheeses, you know? Now, the balsamic glaze tastes fine. I'm not a huge balsamic fan, but here I just wanted more of it because there just wasn't enough flavor happening. So the balsamic glaze was fine. The cherry tomatoes, to be honest, didn't taste ripe enough or something. They were a bit flavorless too, kind of watery as well. And then the onions, of course, had a nice strong flavor, but that's all that I could really taste, to be honest. Even the basil tasted kind of dead. So overall, it wasn't bad. It's just kind of flavorless for me. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think the burrata is gonna be my go-to cheese anytime soon. So I'm gonna have to give this, I think, a five out of 10. I think that's fair. Next up, let's try the fried zucchini. Super cute. What is this sauce? Ooh, that smells like a lemony, herby aioli or something. Kind of mayonnaise-y. What is it? Let me see. A roasted garlic aioli. I was close. I said aioli. Okay, let's first try by itself and then with the aioli. Fried zucchini, so cute. 
Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I'm gonna put some lemon. Why not? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, the lemon just brought it to life even more. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I can't stop. I'm gonna try with the aioli. Are you kidding me? Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. I can't stop. I really can't stop. Mmm. Oh my god. One more. One more. Last one. Okay. So. When I first tried them without the lemon or the aioli, they had a nice, simple flavor, you know? I really love that the zucchini is cut into such small, thin pieces because sometimes fried zucchini is cut into thick pieces. And when the pieces are too thick, they can taste very watery because like zucchini like retains a lot of water, you know? But when they're this thin, they just get kind of like crispy and like dried out and it works so well. Now the batter on the outside is very simple, but delectable, okay? It has a bloomin' onion batter vibe to it. Very thin, not super greasy. A nice fried salt and pepper flavor, nothing too crazy. Perfection. And then when I added the lemon, it brought the fried zucchini to life, guys, for real. That burst of citrus was like a poo pow flavor moment and just took them to a whole nother level. And then the aioli, guys, it has such a tart, almost sour flavor. Very garlicky, very creamy. It just goes so well with the batter and the zucchini and the lemon. It all works. So I'm gonna say the zucchini by itself is a nice seven out of 10, but with the lemon and the aioli, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for real. Just amazing. I can't. I really have to slow down. I can't recommend this enough. Just don't forget to add on the lemon. Wow! Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Next up, let's try the tiramisu. Why not, right? A lot of chocolate shavings in there. Let's see how that texture is. Ooh, yeah. We have a piece of chocolate there. Let's try it. Okay. You guys know when a dessert is like either low sugar or low fat, it can still taste good, but there's always like a slight emptiness to the flavor. Like there's a void that hasn't been filled. This is giving very much that, but I don't think it's low sugar. I don't think it's low fat. It's just low flavor. And that, <laughs> that was funny. Oh my gosh, I'm so funny. The chocolate is good. Definitely dark chocolate, barely sweet, very nice. The cream itself, I think that is where that je ne sais quoi, that unidentifiable sweetness flavor is missing. It's just giving whipped cream almost. And tiramisu's cream should have more of a sweetness to it for sure. It's just way too light. And then the... um Cakey coffee part is fine. It has a very strong coffee flavor as it should. Tiramisu's need a strong cafe con leche flavor, you know? But overall, it's very lackluster. Something is missing. It's not decadent. It's not fully delicious and it should be. Like tiramisu is an easy dessert to pull off. It always tastes good. And this just isn't that girl. It's not. So I'm gonna have to give the tiramisu, oof a four out of 10. It's really lacking like a lot. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. So next up, let's try 
the Caesar salad, okay? So, we have a little thing of Caesar here. Oh, that smells strong. We love that, okay. I'm gonna mix it up fully later because this is just gonna take a while in this little container. But for now, I'm just gonna grab some coated chunks of lettuce, some Parmesan cheese, and croutons. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. 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 Listen. A good Caesar salad needs to have high quality Parmesan cheese on it. Without high quality Parmesan cheese, Caesar salad lacks life. It's like the cheese really brings it to life, you know? And this cheese is fantastic. It's super strong. Super parmesan -y. It's like, hey, I'm here. I'm Parmesan. I'm the main star. You are, girl. And there's a lot of it, so you just really taste it. The lettuce tastes super fresh. The croutons taste great. Tastes like a nice buttery flaky crouton. And overall, it's just a really simple, really perfect. Oh, the dressing, the dressing. Wait, the dressing is fantastic. It has that strong Caesar flavor, but there's also a very strong lemoniness to it. So that just makes everything pop. Everything works so well together. It's a perfect Caesar side salad. I love it so much. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, guys! Next up, <gasps> let's try the calamari. Hello, Squidward. Did you hear that? There was a loud manly voice in the hallway. It scared me. I always get freaked out by like all these voices, but like imagine someone passing by my apartment and they hear me go, oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> it's delicious. Oh. They probably run girl. In fact, the guy probably just heard me right now. So let's just quiet down a little bit. I gotta stay classy. Let's first add the lemon. Let's see, look at that tentacle. Oh my gosh. I don't want any more. You know, it isn't fishy at all. Like, at all. I don't taste any seafood vibes. Ariel has not been found here. That's for sure. And I will say that a lot of calamari that I've had in the past has been very chewy. This calamari is not chewy, so we love that. I think that the breading here is the issue. It tastes like an overcooked chicken tender. Like burnt, like singed. <laughs> It actually tastes like when um, the tip of your chicken tender doesn't have any more chicken in it. It's just pure breading and it's kind of burnt. That is the part of the chicken tender that it tastes like. And that's just like the least satisfying part. Also, it has a slight pork rind flavor, like, like an oiliness and a fattiness that I, I don't love either. So it's just not very good. You're not very pretty and you're not very bright. All you have is ink. Disgusting! It isn't disgusting. I just I just wanted to say that, but it's not good. So I'm gonna give it, I think, a 3.5 out of 10. Kind of worthless. <laughs> Next up, let's try the strawberry cheesecake. Oh my gosh, you guys know! Cheesecake is probably one of my favorite foods in the world. I just adore it. I could eat cheesecake all day, every day. So, are you ready? Let's see how this texture is up close. Oh, <gasps> Jador, Dior. Oh my goodness. I'm nervous. Let's try it, guys. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Okay.
strawberry sauce is very good. It tastes like fresh, real strawberries with a little bit of extra sweetness. <laughs> it's too quiet in here. Usually, when I'm eating cheesecake, I'm like, oh, this is amazing, oh! But today, I'm just kind of like, okay. Last bite. It's still cheesecake, so I'm gonna eat it, hello, but. So, this is a very mediocre cheesecake. I think the main issue here is the crust. When I took that first bite, I was like, what is that flavor? And it was very processed tasting crust. It didn't taste like fresh cookie crust or like graham cracker crust. It just tasted like an old, stale, you know, like pie tin crust. And when I go to a nice restaurant like Karama's, you know, Olive Garden's older sister. Oh my goodness, stop it. When I go to a classy, classy restaurant like Karama's, I want to experience the high life. This cheesecake crust doesn't reach those levels. It just tastes really, really mediocre. Now, the cheesecake itself isn't bad at all. It's just a bit plain. There isn't enough of a cream cheesy tanginess in there. It's just more so almost like a cheesecake flavored pudding maybe. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's, it's like a cheesecake light. Also, the texture is very, very, very soft. Now, for me, I don't like when a cheesecake is too dense and too heavy. It's just like too much to handle, but I also don't like when a cheesecake is too soft. It has to be right in the middle. It has to be creamy, but it still has to have a bite to it. And this one has no bite. It's not bad, but I wouldn't order this again. I would definitely get that chocolate cake thing. Um, I'm gonna give Carabas cheesecake a 4.5 out of 10. Could be so much stronger. I'm getting full. Okay, next up, let's try um, the shrimp scampi. Why not? So, we have the shrimp, we have the scampi, and we have toast. So shrimp scampi is like shrimp in like buttery garlic sauce, right? Basically. So let's grab a shrimp, grab a toast. Get on there, little shrimpy! Come on. Oh my gosh, thank you. Wow. Okay. So the shrimp itself has a very nice flavor. It's really not fishy at all. It's very garlicky, very buttery, but not in a fake butter way, in like a real fancy butter way. Fake butter has a much stronger, ickier flavor. Fancy butter is creamy, you know, and dreamy, and it just melts in your mouth. So the flavor's good. But I do think that the shrimp may be overcooked. It's very rubbery, almost borderline plasticky. So the texture didn't sit well with me, even though the flavor was great. And the toast is simple. It's just toast. There is nothing on it. So you just kind of eat the, the shrimp with it. It's fine. Um, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. I just didn't like the texture. So I'm gonna give it a nice six out of 10. Um, it would have been a lot less if the flavor was bad, but the flavor was great. So I think six is fair. Okay guys, we have four items left. We have the cannolis, the soft mushrooms, the mozzarella sticks, and the salad, <clears throat> the house salad. So let's do the stuffed mushrooms. Ah! I'm scared, oh my God. They're called four cheese and sausage stuffed mushrooms. So. They have sausage, spinach, ricotta, parmesan, romano, mozzarella cheese, and Italian breadcrumbs with a tomato cream sauce. Okay, listen, if it wasn't mushrooms, I'd, I'd be very hyped. It sounds delicious. I'm so scared. Ah! It's the whole head of the mushroom, guys. Oh my god. It just, mushrooms have such an earthy, oceanic smell to them. Guys, please, why did I do this to myself? I don't want to do it. 
Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do I just sound like the girl that sings Halo with um, Beyonce? She's like, oh. <laughs> The girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. Anyways, I guess I'll just dip it into the tomato sauce. You guys don't know, I, I have an actual fear of mushrooms. Like, it's, it's a lot. I also have a fear of like mold. There's mold in my in my um laundry machine right now and I don't know what to do with that. I get so scared of it. Anyways, that's so random. I'm sorry, I'm stalling. <sighs> okay. I'm literally shaking. Oh my God. Guys. I just ate half a mushroom. I'm glitching. People always tell me, Timmy, try mushrooms. You might like them. Girl. I'm not a mold eater! I'm not! The mushroom itself had such a strong, pungent flavor. It smelled like the mildew growing on my bathroom tiles. There's, there's this oceanicness that I really can't look past when I bite into a mushroom. It really freaks me out. Also, the texture is so squishy and disgusting. Yes, that is disgusting. 100%. I can't do it. But, let me just say. I could taste the sausage filling, and that is honestly the only thing that got me through that emotional experience. There was a nice strong Italian sausage flavor, and it did taste kind of Parmigiani, so that was nice. I enjoyed that, even with the mushroom surrounding it. So mushroom was disgusting, filling was actually good, and I couldn't taste the tomato sauce. It just, it all blended in on it, and I can't take another bite. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Can't do it. So, if you love mushrooms, I honestly think that you would give this probably like a 10 out of 10 because the filling's great. But for someone like me, who really can't do it, this is the last time I'm trying a mushroom ever, I think, honestly, guys, I can't do it anymore. I've pushed myself far enough. Um, I'm gonna have to give it, I think, a one out of 10. It was a struggle to actually digest that. Next up, let's try this house salad. So I am assuming that this is Italian dressing. Ooh, that smells good. Oh yeah, double it up. Mm -hmm. ah! Oh, also this salad is supposed to come with Kalamata olives, but I asked for none because we don't know olives either in this household. I sound like such a picky taste tester, guys, but I'm not, I promise. The only things that I don't eat are blue cheese, including gorgonzola, mushrooms, olives, and fishy fish. I can handle fish when it's not fishy, but if it tastes fishy, I'm not gonna eat that fish. <laughs> Sorry. So this salad doesn't have croutons, which is very interesting to me. I feel like it should, right? I wish. Let's get some carrots, some peppers. Mmm. Mmm. The AC is turning on. I'm sorry, guys, if it gets a little noisy. <laughs> I'm getting very full, so I'm going to keep that at one bite, but let us taste fresh. The carrots taste crisp. I typically don't like carrots in my salad, but it works here for some reason. These little banana peppers are delicious. Super tangy. Almost jalapeno-y, but without the spice, you know? So that added a lot of flavor. And then the dressing was just fantastic. It's just super Parmesan-y, super salty, super tangy, and super creamy. It is very nice. Now, I do wish this had more toppings, like tomatoes, 
croutons, cheese maybe. Even though it just has a few toppings, it is still somehow delicious. So I am kind of shook about that. I expect like a dry, trashy salad. I am giving it, I think, a nice 7.5 out of 10. If it had croutons and like tomatoes, it would be a, like a 10 to be honest. Very good, okay. Last two items, cannolis and mozzarella sticks. Let's try the mozzarella sticks. I'm, ooh, I'm so hyped. Look at that. And yes, they are lukewarm, but that's how I like my mozzarella frite. Okay, thank you. Let's first try it without um, marinara sauce and then with. Mm. Okay. Salty! Wow. Marinara. Mm, the marinara is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Napkin. So, I'm feeling kind of Twilight Dakota fanning right now. You know what I mean? Very Volturi. Um, <coughs> I don't love those mozzarella sticks. The cheese on the inside does taste high quality. It's it's salty, it's flavorful, it's good, but I don't like the breading. I think it's a bit too bread crummy, if that makes sense. Just a bit too grainy, you know? And it also has a slight ham flavor to it that I'm not liking. It's like almost giving ham croquetta. And if you're Cuban, you know what that is. I am half Cuban. Um, and I love croquettas, but I don't think that that breading tastes good on a mozzarella stick. Something's just not working. Breading's bad. Cheese is good. Marinara sauce is fantastic, so that's a plus. But overall, I've just had much better mozzarella sticks, especially like Cheesecake Factory, um, TGI Fridays. They have really good mozzarella sticks. So I'm going to have to give these mozzarella sticks a 4.5 out of 10. It's pretty low. Mozzarella sticks are very hard to mess up, but they managed. Last but not least, we have the cannolis. Look how beautiful. So it's like a rolled up egg roll wrapper looking thing. And then it's filled with cannoli sauce, filling, <laughs> and um, pistachios, and I think some chocolate chips. So let's try it. They're not bad. And I've never had a cannoli, so I don't know if this is how they're supposed to taste. I just don't know if I'm into them. So the wrapper thing looks like it's like gonna be crunchy, but it's not. It's just more like crumbly. And then the filling on the inside is very creamy, very nice texture, very fluffy, but it has a coconutty flavor to it that I'm not feeling. I don't think that the flavor goes with the texture, if that makes sense. I do like the pistachio crumbs because I love pistachios. And I like the chocolate chips, but I just don't love the texture of the crust thingy. And I don't love the flavor of the filling. It isn't bad, though. I would, like, definitely eat it as a dessert, but I wouldn't pick it out of a bunch of desserts, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to give the cannolis a 6 out of 10, okay? They're not bad. They're fine. They're just not my thing. So I just tried all these appetizers and desserts. Guys, what do you think? Did you, <laughs> where'd my hair go? Oh my God. What did you think? Which items looked the best to you? Let me know in the comments below. Also subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm so grateful guys, go and check them out. The link is at the top of the description. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Oh, oh, oh.